Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here or if you're coming from my friend Katie from Over the Moonies channel, hi, so nice to meet you guys. My name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry, or if you're a returning subscriber, hey guys, I'm so happy that you're back. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Today is another installment of Crafted, and I know that this series is so special, and so many of you love watching this series, and Katie and I are so very very appreciative that you love this series. For those of you who don't know what Crafted is, Crafted is a Disney DIY challenge that my friend Katie from Over the Mooney and I do every single month. We challenge each other, we tell each other, hey, we want you to make this craft or we send craft supplies or do something along those lines. So we do the craft that the other person has assigned and then we also do a craft of our very own. Now, after this video is done, be sure to head over to Katie's channel to check out her craft. Uh, Katie is an absolutely amazing Disney YouTuber. She does DIYs, hauls, she, also does unboxings and reviews. If you guys love the content on this channel, you're gonna absolutely love Katie. And on top of that, she's an absolutely incredible person. So win-win. So be sure to go and check her out. All of her information is gonna be linked in the description box down below, including a crafted playlist. So all of our crafted videos are all in one location for you guys to watch and enjoy. So if you cannot tell from these ridiculous ears, today we are celebrating one of my most favorite films of all time, Lilo and Stitch. I'm so very excited. Why don't we just go ahead and get into it? Let's get crafting. and stitch craft we are gonna do Katie sent me a really fun tutorial that was kind of like school supplies related which is perfect for like the timing of this video right it's like everyone's starting school and things are starting up so there were two crafts as options in this tutorial and I will link the tutorial below so you can check it out but it was a notebook with stitch on it and then it was a zipper pouch with stitch on it the zipper pouch I was going to need to buy like a lot of supplies for but for the notebook the only thing I was really gonna need to get was the notebook which is great because I have a ton of craft foam that I can use so I ended up getting this Steno pad. The um, notebook that was shown in the video itself was actually like a regular notebook that opens to the side. But I just thought with the image of Stitch, it would just be easier to flip it up and then it wouldn't like crush his ears because his ears kind of stuck out from the side of the notebook itself. So we are gonna be making a Stitch notebook. Then the notebook that was shown on the video itself is him like holding a love letter. And I found this image online. It's like a plush notebook and I thought it was so cute. So I'm gonna try to recreate this and make this into a notebook today with all of this craft foam. Oh my gosh, how? Does anyone know how I got all this craft foam? If you could please let me know down in the comments down below. I seriously have another full drawer like that right over there. I'm like, please, if anyone has any craft foam um, <laughs> ideas for crafting, please let me know. Also, as always, we always ask that you guys please comment down below. Let us know if you were to do a Lilo and Stitch craft, what craft would you do? Those are some of my favorite comments to read. I love seeing how creative you guys are. So much fun to see kind of all of your creative juices rolling and like the takes and the things that you would do with this craft. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it, guys. I'm gonna turn the camera down so you can see. I'm not using a Cricut or anything. I'm straight up just using scissors and just trying my hand at freehanding a stitch. So this might go horribly wrong. <laughs> so here I am putting the main piece of foam onto the notebook itself. I'm using Aline's Tacky Glue, which is a clear tacky glue. It's one of my most favorite craft adhesives. And I'm adhering it to the front of the notebook. Now I am going to be choosing craft foam that has uh, adhesive already on the back of it. I wanted to do this because it will stick really well to the craft foam that has the glitter on it. So that's the direction that I went in by choosing all of the ones that had the adhesive on the back. 
So I'm gonna take this stitch image that I printed off from online and just cut out certain pieces of his face and then use it as a pattern for the foam because I really liked the size of the stitch that I printed out on that piece of paper. So I thought, why not use it and create uh, the same proportions that were in that printout. So that's what I do here and I just continue to do that over and over again until I get a stitch that I am happy with. Something that I forgot to record is I do go over some details in this stitch with permanent marker to give him a little bit more definition like under his chin and then also I use a white paint pen to do um, some light shining in his eyes to make him look more real but this is where I'm going to end this craft because it's a pretty simple one and I can't wait to show you what it looks like at the end of this video okay so for the craft of my choice this one was a pretty easy one for me to choose I'm going to create a scrump and I'm talking a real scrump. We are making a rag doll today that is scrump. So I'm gonna pop a picture of scrump up here on the uh, video and I just, here's the thing, I love scrump as a character. Not even a character, she's not a character. She's an inanimate object. But I love what scrump represents in this film. Scrump is Lilo's friend that she created. And as a creative little girl myself, when I was little, I always loved creating things. And I just love how off the wall and different this ragdoll is. And I collect scrump. And so I thought, why not try my hand at making my very own? So I have printed out a sphere pattern. I've used this pattern before. It's fabulous. It's perfect for making round objects, which scrump's head is very large and very round. I'm going to be making a pattern for Scrump's body. So I decided to do just a traditional ragdoll style because in the film, that's how she's represented. In merchandise, she's a lot more complex than what she's depicted in the film. So I'm gonna try to make it as close to the film as I possibly can. I got some embroidery thread, and then I got two different sizes of buttons for Scrump's eyes because Scrump has two different size eyes. We got some satin fabric for her bow and some really nice mint green flannel for Scrump's body and head, like skin color, I guess you would say. And so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I also have some pink ribbon that I already had here and we're gonna fill Scrump's body with beads. So I have some polyfill beads. They're like plastic beads that go inside of the doll and they kind of like weight her down so she'll sit down really well and be able to hold up her own little body. And then we're gonna fill the rest of her with um, polyfill. So why don't we go ahead and get started and let's make a scrum. Something that I forgot to mention is I picked up this really chunky yarn and that yarn is gonna be Scrump's hair. So now I'm gonna do a traditional ragdoll style of pattern, which is basically just like half a body. And then I'm gonna fold the piece of paper and make sure it's cut out evenly to where it makes an entire body. I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but you can see what I'm doing right here. <laughs> It's going to be a really simple pattern and very easy to put together. Okay, so all of Scrum's pattern pieces are fully cut. So she is ready to be assembled and sewn. I took my chunky yarn and I just like did a bunch of loops. And then I did a stitch right on the top there. And that way, once I get this inside the, of the seam of her head, I can take it out and like give her a little haircut because you may notice like Scrum's hair is like really uneven, like she needs to go to the salon. So we are <laughs> gonna make sure that that happens, that she goes purposefully to the uneven salon tonight. <laughs> and then next, I have to choose a button for her belly button. So I have a little tradition. Um, my grandmother passed away when I was 13 and one of the things that um, my mom made sure that I had was her buttons. And I have three milk jugs in my craft room that I keep like as a decoration. Um, but these were her buttons from her button drawer. And so 
I am going to find a button to use as Scrump's uh, belly button. And so I'm just gonna turn the camera down and we're gonna like sift through here. There's a bunch of really amazing like vintage buttons in here. So in honor of my grandma, let's go ahead and put a button onto this Scrump doll. It was so fun going through all the buttons, but this is the one that I chose. I wanted to go with a dark button, but I didn't really have any like blue navy buttons which would kind of match scrump, but I thought this was so like vintagey looking and really pretty, and so we're going with a brown for the belly button. So I am getting ready to start hand stitching all of the eyes, and then I'm gonna use the embroidery thread to make the stitched mouth. And then we're gonna be done, so I think I'm gonna leave you guys here and go to future Jessie where she's gonna introduce and show you all of the crafts. <laughs> oh, this craft, it has been so much fun. Again, I always love to know what you think of the crafts that I have created, and I would love to know what you would do if you were going to maybe assign a craft to someone, or if you just have a craft in mind for Lilo and Stitch, please leave it in the comments down below. It's like my favorite comments to reply to are the ones from the crafted video. We're gonna get into our first craft. The first craft happened to be the notebook that Katie challenged us to create. And actually, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I do have a little bit of glue that's exposed, but honestly, it's just a notebook for myself, so it's gonna be just fine. Here is my stitch notebook. I think it turned out so well. I was so thankful that I had a lot of the supplies because oftentimes we buy new supplies for these crafted videos. So it was kind of fun to use what I already had. So let's take a closer look. So this is a Steno pad, right? So it lifts open like that. And there is a stitch. So you can see like there's a little bit of glue that you can see on his ears, but it is what it is. I think it looks okay. <laughs> I do love that it protrudes out of the back. See the little ears poke out the sides, which is really fun. And my favorite part, look at these fingernails. Yes, this is so cute. I'm totally gonna be using this. I think it would be fun to sit on my desk at work and then like take notes in it. And then after you have a meeting, just dramatically close it like <laughs> living my stitch notebook fantasy for you guys. And then next, are you guys ready to see Scrump? I just feel really happy about how this, how these crafts turned out and I am so excited to show you this one. Drum roll, please. Ah! <laughs> yes! Oh my God, we're in love with her. Um, first of all, this is such a fun craft to make. I am telling you, like it's so easy and so fun. If you get the opportunity to make your own, please do send me photos. Okay, let's do a close up. So here is Scrump's face. <laughs> Look, I love the buttons and the smile turned out wonderfully. The satin bow, I put a little bit of polyfill in to make it kind of fun and we gave her a crazy haircut and I think it looks kind of cute actually. And it kind of like hangs out the back too. And then here is her little body. So the only thing I would like to change maybe if I make her again is I'd like her to make a, maybe a little bit more chunky because I do think she's a bit stiff, but honestly, I still think she looks good. Good. And then there is my special button that is for my grandmother that I put on the front. But I really like how she turned out. She's gonna go perfectly on my Lilo and Stitch shelf. She's a very bottom heavy and her head kind of like tilts to the side because she's not like super well supported. But here, here she is. 
Oh my god, I love her. For the two crafts that were created, let me know down below what you think. If you enjoyed this series, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, be sure to go check out Katie's channel because she is doing something for the first time and I am so excited to see how it turns out. I'm going to link her channel down below. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe down below because lots more Disney DIYs, vlogs, and also haul and unboxing videos are coming your way. I will see you guys in the next video. TTFN, bye. Go check out Katie's channel.